Hi, I'm Kelly from Walton Bay Organics and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to do a video on composting in a tumbler. So I've done a composting video before in a permaculture style with our chicken crib, which we use all the time, but we're trying to experiment some other um, composting methods, which we've done in the past, but we want to see uh, the outcomes of different composting processes and see if it changes speeds or quality and stuff like that. So um, we've just recommissioned our old tumbler. It's had a few makeshift zip ties put in, um, but I just wanted to show you how to start a composting tumbler. Um, so things to consider when you're making a compost tumbler or a compost pile is that you need two main sources of ingredients. So they are carbon based things. Uh, so carbon is things like dried leaves, branches from trees that you've cut off, um, paper, uh, wood ash, mulch, uh, anything that's hardwood. So things that are carbon based. And the other one you need is uh, nitrogen, so things like your veggie scraps, um, chicken manures or a, a little bit of cow manure, grass clippings and stuff like that. Um, there's a million other things that you can use, um, but they're just a few to get you started. Uh, so basically what you want to think about is uh, the percentages. You don't have to make it uh, complicated, but basically you need more carbon based then you need nitrogen so basically if you put in uh, 10 parts of carbon you want one part of nitrogen so the nitrogen is what activates the composting process um, and it also adds the moisture into it as well uh, so basically I'm just going to show you all we've done we've already started the other day and as you can see we've got more brown in here than we have green and that's okay and we're still adding to it so <clears throat> and just to show you there's no special things you just literally chuck it in so you've got your carbon which is your leaves paper so you can use old newspaper uh, just normal paper from printing envelopes any sort of paper just make sure there's no plastic on it just remove it so chuck those in and some wood chips which actually have been sitting in a mulch pile uh, that we've got so it's got some mycelium actually forming in here which is actually really good it's helpful to help with the um, composting process because they help take up the nutrients and break it down for us the wood ash is also considered a carbon, so you can chuck some in. Just a little bit, bit dusty. No. And the other thing we use is some of our spent mushroom blocks, because we grow mushrooms here. So these are considered carbon as well, because it's hardwood in here, and it's got mycelium in it, uh, which helps like I said before with the other mulch there. So chuck some of that in. Chicken manure. So we collect that sometimes too. So that's really high in nitrogen so you never need much of it. Um, some good old veggie scraps. And we've got comfrey in here too. So um, comfrey is really good at creating heat uh, when it breaks down um, and it naturally composts itself anyway but um, it's really good to keep in there to keep the warmth um, to help speed up the composting process and some grass clippings and that's it so what we do sometimes is we give this a sprinkle of water but because we've got enough nitrogen stuff in here we won't do that today but if you do put water in it's just a really light spray um, and then um, just to keep the moisture in. So we shut this one up if I can. That's it. That's it. <laughs> 
and you give it a good mix. I always like to check that it's mixed okay. A bit more. That's a bit better. So you can still see there's green and brown in here and that's about the right percentage you want. So all you need to do is turn it once or twice a week. Um, just give it a full cycle turn. Make sure you leave the lid up the top so you can keep an eye on it. Um, you'll probably have little air vents on a tumbler if you've got one. Leave them open and that allows the air to get through. Uh, other things you need to monitor for throughout the weeks that it takes to break down is um, what does it actually smell like. So if it smells uh, very pungent and not sweet, um, you've got your um, carbon and nitrogen levels wrong so you need to add a little bit of something in there. So if it's smelling sweet and it's breaking down the moisture is really good, you've got the right mix. But if it's really smelly, um, you might have too much nitrogen or too much moisture in there and you should add some more carbon-based uh, things in there. And that's about it. It takes uh, anywhere from 6 to 12 weeks to break down completely um, to speed up the process using comfrey. But also chopping things up reasonably small or breaking them up uh, will help speed up the process. The larger the lumps that are in there, the longer it takes to break down. And if you use um, hard veggies, so things like broccoli stumps, um, cauliflower stumps, anything that is uh, quite hard, uh, you need to chop them up smaller because they take a really long time to break down and they get very smelly very quickly when it takes a longer time. And that's about it. That's the easiest way you can make some compost. Not a lot of hard effort required. And um, you get to pop that in your garden when you're done. We hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll see you next time.